I call the Honourable John Boscowen. Thank you, Mr Chair, and I'd like to acknowledge the contribution of David Parker. He has, uh, he has contributed significantly to this debate, both in the House and in the Select Committee. Uh, there are some comments that Mr Parker has made this afternoon that I disagree strongly with, and I hope to explain those in the fullness of the next, uh, next five minutes, uh, or if not um, uh, on Tuesday, Mr Chair. But the, Mr Parker again began his address this afternoon by acknowledging the officials. And let me just reiterate that to the officials in uh, the House this afternoon. I thank you for your support. I thank you for the advice. You're always willing to contribute to certainly my understanding and the other members of the Select Committee. Uh, Mr Chair, we kept the officials and the other staff in this pre precinct in Parliament last night until after midnight. Uh, we're sorry for the inconvenience, but we don't apologise for it. And the reason that we did that, and I say this to the officials and to the staff of the parliamentary complex, is so that we strongly oppose this bill. We said that we would fight this bill every step of the way. We've done that, and we'll continue to fight it next week. And we don't resolve from the decisions we took and the actions we've taken. And I just want to point out why we're right. And you just listen to some of the speeches this afternoon, and, you un and you'll understand that. What, what did we have from To Hanari this afternoon? He said, we had the uh, announcement from the, the decision from the appeal court, Dame Shan Elias, in 2003, and he said, look, within 24 hours, 36 hours, the politicians jumped out and created a mess. Politicians jumped out and created a mess. And he went on to say that this government, this National Party and Maori Party government, has attempted to get it right, but only time will tell. Well, what a great contradiction. Because what Tau Hanari has acknowledged this afternoon is politicians interfering in this matter has created a mess. You'd think it would be a pretty simple exercise then for the National Party to use the majority to repeal the Foreshore and CBD Act 2004, send it back to the courts. But no, they actually want to add to the mess. They actually want to add to the mess and the confusion that Mr Hanari accuses the Labour Party of. And then from... And then from um, uh, Rahui Kartane. In fact, Rahui Kartane has made a number of interjections this afternoon that have, haven't been picked up uh, on the record, uh, and I want to actually write those on the record because the interjections I've heard, albeit quietly from Rahui Kartane uh, this afternoon, Mr Chair, are absolutely correct, are absolutely correct, and I believe that this bill is a big victory for the, uh, a big victory for the Maori Party. It's a massive victory for the Maori Party, and as... Uh, uh, Tariana Tiria wrote last week, uh, for a small party, we have achieved amazing results in a short time. For a small party, we have achieved amazing results for a short time. And um, Rahui Kartane, in response to some of Mitaruanui's comments, continually called out, I understand the right to go to court. I understand the right to go to court, sir, and the ACT Party understands Order. the right to go... Order. I regret to advise the member that it has gone uh, 5.55 and it's time for me to report progress. Members, the House has resumed. Mr Speaker, the Committee on the Marine and Coastal Area Takatai Moana Bill reports progress. Mr Speaker, I move the report be adopted. The question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The bill is set down for further consideration in committee next sitting day. The House stands adjourned until 2pm on Tuesday the 22nd of March.